Martin Margiela consistently challenged the fashionable ideal. He launched his label in 1988 and presented one of the most influential runway shows in history the following year. Staged on the site of an abandoned playground in Paris, the show featured clothing that was heavily distressed, made from repurposed materials, and compellingly off-kilter. It was an aesthetic that became known as deconstruction. The collection included these boots, which are covered in a thick layer of white paint. They were meant to crack and flake more with each wear. Known as tabby boots, they were named for their resemblance to the split-toe socks worn with thong sandals in Japan. Tabby boots and shoes are now a signature Margiela design, produced in a variety of styles and materials. This bustier was crafted from layers of street posters using a papier-mâché-like technique. Found and reclaimed materials played an especially important role in Margiela's work. Waistcoats were made from broken crockery, blouses were fashioned from plastic bags, and tunics were crafted from a patchwork of old leather gloves. Margiela's sock sweater from 1991 became one of his most famous designs. Socks sourced from army surplus stores were cut apart, patched together, and sewn to create a pullover. The heels of the socks were cleverly positioned to conform to the shape of the body. Fashion editor Susie Menkes referred to Margiela as fashion's founding father of recycling. This ensemble was part of a collection made from dilapidated theater costumes. Margiela and his colleagues cut up the costumes and refashioned them into new styles. The belt is made from layers of packing tape, once again highlighting the originality of Margiela's choices of materials and their uses. In 1997, Margiela presented two collections that were inspired by the fabric covers of dressmakers' forms. The series of dresses and tunics highlighted and questioned fashion's idealization of the female body and its adherence to standardized sizing. Some of the tunics were styled with skirts crafted from lengths of fabric with the salvage exposed. The resulting ensembles looked like they were works in progress rather than polished runway looks. Margiela's philosophical approach to design helped to define the look of the 1990s, and it remains incredibly influential today. Although Margiela left his namesake brand in 2009, the label continues to thrive. Many of its current ideas are inspired by the lexicon of styles established by the brand's founder. To learn more about Maison Margiela, visit our online collections.